creep. Live together for the first and almost definitely the last time. <laughs> Hugh Laurie, Patrick Moore and Phoebe Legere. <laughs> Patrick still doesn't know what's hit him, do you, Patrick? Thank you very much for that. I'll tell you what, this is, you're going to say in the morning, did it happen or was it a dream? <laughs> this is what television's all about. It doesn't come any better than this. What can I say, ladies and gentlemen, to encapsulate my feelings about the emotional stopover I've made here these last two weeks at the weird and way out world of Wogan? I could say thanks to each and every and all of my guests, including the ones who got up and mooched out halfway through my questions. I could become moist around the retina about the sumptuous quality of the backstage team. I might even risk infection and shake the hands of Harry Stoneham and his boys, but I haven't finished with these cufflinks yet. I really should thank you, the audience and viewers, for making me, a simple East End lad, television magnate and sterling billionaire, so very welcome. But I'm sure all that gets taken as read. Instead, let me speak from the heart and pay tribute to a man who, well, I guess you could say without this man, I simply wouldn't be where I am tonight. His name is John Hannon, and he's my minicab driver, and he gets the hump if I keep him waiting too long. So until next time, this has been Jonathan Ross saying, hey there, Mr. Wogan, it's a piece of cake. Thanks for watching. Good night.